For those who don't know, I'm one of the founder trustees of Writer's Block as well as, as one of the writers of the essays. Um, and, you know, it's wonderful to actually be here because it was about, it was 2007 when Hugh called me up um, to propose this idea, to propose a meeting where um, a few writers would sit down with him um, and, and talk about this project. And I remember very clearly this meeting, it was Zadie Smith, Harry Kunzru, Nick Laird, Rachel Holmes and myself who were the five trustees. Um, and sitting down with, with Hugh and, and Hugh basically saying, so we want to give you money to send writers to countries to write about education. And, and I, you know, I can admit this now, Hugh, that I, I thought, why? <laughs> you know, he seemed, to, he seemed to have an idea why. Um, and he said well, things... It's better than being sent to an airport to write about an airport. Oh, we could do... That's a good one. A series of airport essays. Um, and, and really, so in the abstract, I kind of got it. But it was only when the essays came in, one after another after another, that there was this sort of light bulb moment. Um, and it's precisely the thing Chimamanda is talking about, where there were so many degrees of overlap. Um, and at the same time, the, the essays were so specific about the particular country they're from. And in almost all of the essays, you'll find that you know, there are points where the politics and history are being woven in, whether it's Natalie Handel, who's here talking about Haiti and the earthquake, or whether it's um, Nick Laird talking about Nepal and the Maoists, or... Uh, my piece with, with Pakistan and its education, that it's all, all these things are woven in, and so it's about the very particular histories. And yet, even though it's always about the particular histories, certain things keep overlapping. Um, and one of them, and there are several things, and, and Hugh has done a wonderful piece on, on the different layers of overlap, um, but one of the things that really struck me as I was reading them all together again um, is a tremendous problem, and it's, I think, quite relevant to the UK because, unfortunately, it's, it's happening more and more here, this divide in education, this gap um, between the kind of education that the well-off re receive and the kind of education that other people receive. And one of my favorite moments in all the essays was, was when Joe Mother talks about actually the difference in body language. Mm -hmm. So, you know, as you said, it's not just about, you know, they're learning from these better textbooks or their teachers have had a better education um, or they're in schools where there's an air conditioner instead of a fan. Um, but the way they're being taught and the conditions with it being taught affects everything about them, including, um, as, you know, you, you point out, just the way they sit, the way they walk, the confidence they have. And so you <coughs> realize the way in which everything um, about these uh, human beings, these citizens of these countries, um, is formed around this have-have-not um, divide that goes on the level of education.